Caddis Maximus here, this time reviewing the Napa Professional KD or High Tech uh, Professional Patented Snap Ring Pliers. Uh, I was initially just going to do a review of these, but I decided to include it as a comparison because I didn't think there's enough uh, to talk about regarding snap rings uh, for more than one video. Really, when I would recommend these type of snap ring pliers as uh, the first set that you would get, although you often uh, do need more than one set of snap ring pliers. And it's just the nature of snap rings. There's just so many sizes. They can be huge, multi-inch, or larger, down to just microscopic uh, snap rings are found inside computer fans. And to work with such a wide variety of snap rings, uh, you do need a wide variety of tools. And it's not just internal and external. There are snap rings which go around shafting to prevent them from sl sliding in and out of some component. And they won't even have eyelets. They'll just have two sharp little edges. And that's where pliers like these New Britons come in. Is those are These are specifically for uh, non-eyeleted uh, external snap rings. Now... What makes these so great, the high-tech and the KD tools, is several points. Let's go and take a closer look at one of the smaller ones here. First, they have good construction quality. They have these solid jaws and then interchangeable tips. Now, there's a variety of snap ring pliers that have interchangeable tips, but this particular style really seems to have taken over. And the reason I say that they're not totally universal is there's a few situations in which the, the thickness of these jaw, these upper jaws that have prevented me from getting close enough access to a particular snap ring. But that's pretty rare. These things really are rigid. They don't want to flex around. They're very convenient and reliable to use. Due to the nature of the tips on these and that they're held in via a hex so that you can align, say, some of these more, let me, some of these more bent ones. So you can align the tips closely. On straight ones, it's really advantageous because with snap ring pliers, the tips really do wear out pretty quickly. Snap rings are always made out of a very hard steel. And so inevitably when you have a snap ring, when they slip or anything like that, or just normal use, it starts to round the side of the tips and then they want to slip and then you have to get new snap ring pliers. That would be the second reason I'd recommend them over sets such as this style, because even though this style is convenient and does reach in tighter spaces and why I have them, uh, there's no replacement. When these wear out, uh, as soon as they start slipping on the snap rings, uh, you know, you either have to get them warrantied and spend time and effort doing that, or you just have to buy another pair. With these, you just put in some new tips, and particularly with the straight ones, you can just rotate them until the entire 360 degrees of the tip uh, is totally unusable. They do use a couple of set screws to hold these in, uh, and that can also be a little bit annoying for people because you have to deal with set screws to pull tips in and out, obviously running into issues such as losing those set screws, etc. But for all those caveats, the interchangeable tips really make a huge difference, and let me show you one of the reasons why. It's easier just for me to hold the camera to show you these, is they have a huge variety of tips where you have 30, you have really this slight 15 degree angle, you have 30 degree angle, you have straight, and you have 90 degree angle. Now, these are colored differently not because they're made out of different materials such as copper and aluminum. They're colored uh, oxide or black, silver, and copper just to make it easier for when you're de digging through the little bin of bits to find the matching pair, okay? I need something that's in the, the black sizes which are smaller or the silver sizes which are intermediate or the copper sizes, which are large. Now, I'll also point out that the little sets come with a really nice variety of different tips. I mean, we have straight, 15, 30, and 90, so that's four different styles of tips. We're on the large set, which I will mention was over $100. All the three sizes, the small, medium, and large from Napa will set you back uh, $200 to $250. They're really pretty expensive. I didn't pay that quite that much, but uh, Napa, if you go there a lot, they'll give you these gold and more corporate level accounts to regular customers. That used to be one of the big deals to go to Napa. So the large ones, uh, I think to make it a little more cost competitive, does not include anywhere near as many tips. They only come with the 15 and a kind of a compromised 75 degree tip. So you don't get any 90 degree tips and you don't get any straight tips. Now, 
it isn't such a big deal since they're a hacks piece. Technically, you can take an Allen wrench and cut it into two pieces and use a grinder to grind out uh, some tips. I've seen uh, some, these are sold by many professional power tool brands. Whoever patented these uh, really made a killing with sales. They're just so much different uh, and worked so much more reliably than many other snap ring pliers to that point. Uh, so the, yeah, you can definitely order tips. They do make an even larger pair than I would say this six inch pair, or excuse me, this nine inch pair. Um, but they're incredibly expensive, like $250 just for that one set. So enough about the tips on these snap ring pliers. The second really big advantage to these snap ring pliers is how easily it is to reverse them. Some snap ring pliers are pretty easy to reverse, but these are a push button. If you want internal, then you push internal. Or excuse me, you would push the button when it's up displays external. So if you want an internal, you would actually have to press on the external button and go to the other side and press on the external button. And you have to get them adjusted just in the right position. This is also sometimes a bit fidgety. And then voila, now they're set to internal. And that's one complaint I would have is they, sh they have these labeled backwards. If I want to work on an external s snap ring, then I would want to press on external and press on external and then have it be set up to use an external snap ring. Instead, I'm pressing on the word external to work on an internal. And that doesn't make quite as much sense. And although this push button system isn't perfect, it does make for a uh, pretty reliable tool. And they uh, are quite strong. You never have to worry about anything failing in this type of situation. And it's not very often that you're using snap ring pliers in such a situation where you're having to use one set of pliers and swapping them back and forth, back and forth repeatedly uh, between internal and external use. And why I say high tech is I think high tech may have been one of the earlier brands, but see, here's these are exactly the same tool with the same patent numbers. It's just this has been rebranded high tech, where this is, uh, of course, KD Professional. The mid size ones are just the same as those small ones. The only real difference is that they come with a, th a solid, uh, wider, overmolded handle so you don't pinch your hands quite as easily. And to tell you the truth, I wish they would have done that on the little ones, particularly with how much they uh, charge for these things. Otherwise, they're absolutely the exact same design. The other thing I'll comment on is even though the medium size is significantly larger than the small ones, they use the same size tips as the small ones. Uh, and I've had a couple situations where I've been using these on a snap ring where I should have been using the larger ones, and I have snapped these tips off. Fortunately, they're pretty easy to replace. Now, this is the last one that I picked up. And I've seen where they move this switch design to some of these smaller ones, but they just charge a huge amount of money. And so this would be this next evolution. These are made by the same company, but these just have a flip switch. And as far as reversing a direction, they went from those, which isn't bad, the push button to a switch, which is there's just no other way to make it easier. These large ones also intelligently are ratcheting. Because large snap rings like this have a huge amount of force, I can squeeze super hard on this with my bare hand, and I'm just going to end up hurting myself trying to compress this uh, even a minimal amount. And so you have to be real careful, especially with large snap rings, that you get the snap ring pliers in there nice and parallel, that you try not to use ones that have rounded tips, because one of these things popping off, especially as you're trying to get it out, this would be an internal, so you're trying to pull this out of a bore and then you touch it, and it shoots off, uh, that can really hurt, um, even if it doesn't hit you in the eye, which is especially why you need to wear safety glasses when working with snap rings. So how these work is they have a ratchet mechanism. It's not the easiest to grasp, but once you get used to it, it's not so bad. And I understand because they don't want to make it too easy to accidentally bump when you have a lot of uh, tension snap ring on it. And so... And it's not bad. It is a super heavy-duty ratchet mechanism. You can just see how thick that is. It's 5 16 of an inch thick or something. The ratchet paw here is a big, solid piece of steel with like three or four teeth, so it's way overbuilt. And what's interesting about reversing this is in any position, you just flip the switch, and then you just have to open it and kind of jiggle it a little bit, and then the 
pins, what this is doing, if we look on top, we can see these bumps are not parallel, is this is a little plate that's essentially pushing on spring-loaded versions of these pins. And they, and then they're just spring-loaded, so when you switch it and you have to open it, sometimes it gets kind of caught until you jiggle it a little bit. And then voila, see that? Now we're working on extra or internal snap rings. Now we're working on external snap rings. And in their infinite wisdom, uh, you set it to internal when you're working on an external snap ring. It's displaying external so that you, I would assume that you know you're working on internal. Still doesn't make sense. When I flip the switch to external, then I want to be in external. It's kind of like turning the power switch to the on position. You don't want it to say off, letting you know that you're not in the off position. It just doesn't make a ton of sense. Now, of course, these larger ones have much heavier duty bits. Let's take a comparison here. And so they really work out much better. You can see it's much more difficult to break a tip that's three times the size. And so that was my criticism about the, the middle size ones is because they should have just made the tips bigger. Now, these are really nice with the ratcheting because you can get them on a big, thick, heavy snap ring like this. And once you get it tensioned, this is a much safer situation because now you have the snap ring kind of in control and you're not fighting the hold the pliers. Now you can carefully guide it out, uh, maybe even use a finger kind of to help hold the bottom part of it. And you're going to have much less issues with them bouncing off or coming off the pliers like halfway between pulling it out of a bore or something. That's always an adventure. And the funky part is that you do have to squeeze them while simultaneously trying to grab this ratchet paw and release it. And the one issue is, is that it's a very secure ratchet paw, but from its locked position, if you look, in order to get it to release, and you can see by the teeth right there, I have to get these handles to swing uh, almost a full tooth quite a bit. So you have to actually compress it even more just to be able to release the ratchet paw. And they maybe could have improved on that. But versus any other type of snap ring pliers working with large snap rings, I mean, these things are a world of difference. And even Harbor Freight has their icon. So many nice snap ring pliers. But really, the big deal I've, I've had with all snap ring pliers is that you can't change the tips. The tips start getting worn. Um, and they basically are junk. You can grind them down a little bit to recover slightly. Um, Otherwise, they're just kind of like throwaway tools. You're constantly replacing them if you're working with a lot of snap rings. Um, that being said, I do have this style. These are internal and external. These are very common, cheap style ones. We have SKs and KDs and whatever brand this is. Wild is True Arc. Uh, and then even a pair of American-made Crescents. And these are nice just because they have real, they're real thin. And so these will get in the tighter situations. Uh, than these, especially when you're in uh, working with small snap rings. Larger snap rings are, in, of course, in larger areas, and so you don't have the same kind of issues. And then another couple different styles. This is a OEM, kind of a cheesy attempt uh, at some snap ring pliers. These have also have interchangeable tips, but they kind of go through this funky head system where they come through and you either have, uh, depending on where you put the arms, so I thought it was an interesting design, but maybe it didn't work out. See, these you put in here, and you have a screw that holds on. So if you want them 90 degrees, you put them in that way. You want them in straight, you put them in this way. And if you want them at a 45 degree, then they also have a notch here for, or excuse me, for 30 degrees, like so. And I thought that isn't so bad. Unfortunately, the head is just massively bulky. Uh, especially when you have the big thumb screw on the back, but these are kind of junkers and you have to realize that with snap ring pliers You're always gonna unless you barely use them You're gonna end up having beater pairs and here's another common style This is their cheap solution to having multiple snap ring pliers in one system is having this little through pin that drives these interchangeable heads and these work out okay, especially for the price. And some stores actually just sell the heads by themselves. And they're only like a couple, $3 a piece. And I thought that was a decent compromise for something that works pretty well. That you just flip the head over to the other side uh, to get them to go internal or external. And the fact that you can get a variety of head designs. So that was just kind of a quick review and comparison. But mainly just reviewing these really nice high quality 
uh, Napa high tech snap ring pliers and bring them to people's attention. Uh, I was going to take apart this one with the thumb switch, but there's a bunch of springs in there. Uh, not a bunch, but a few of them, and it's a bit of a hassle. I've actually done it once, uh, and it was a bit of a hassle to get it back together. So I'm not going to do that for you on this video. That just about sums it up. I really appreciate everybody watching and everybody who has subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, Caddis Maximus out.